We saw a violent storm in Durban on Sunday night and the IPCC has just released a new report on extreme weather. Can you just outline the kind of main findings for us? Well, you know, a single event really can't be attributed to human-induced climate change, but the trend and the, uh, and the data that we have, observations over a long period of time, clearly establish that there are increases in intensity and frequency of some extreme events, and we brought that out very clearly in our report. Mm -hmm. The report's been criticised by some scientists for being bland and watered down. Are you confident that it does fully represent the dangers that we face from extreme weather? Well, truth can often be very bland. You know, we are not in the business of uh, creating drama. We are trying to bring out the best that we have of science, and we've been very forthright, we've been very objective, and the report, in my view, is extremely robust and well-founded on uh, strong science. And we interviewed Pablo, so Pablo Salon yesterday, the former uh, negotiator for Bolivia, and he was telling us that um, the average temperature rise in, in, in areas uh, across Africa could be as much as double as the double the, the average worldwide. Is, is that the kind of science that you're seeing? Well, there are a lot of variations, and you know, certainly the Arctic is warming at twice the rate of the rest of the, the globe, but uh, it could very well be that there are some regions where unfortunately we don't even have proper records but which may actually be warming at a much faster rate and at a higher uh, level than what you find elsewhere. And it's just over a year now since the, the climate gate non-scandal. Of course, all the scientists in, involved have been vindicated, but how do you think that that has affected the work of the IPCC and of climate science over this last year? Well, the work of the IPCC goes on. We, are, uh, we have brought out two special reports this year. Work on the AR5, the fifth assessment report, is well in hand. We have an extremely enthusiastic response from the scientific community for working on the fifth assessment report. In fact, the number of nominations we got this time was a record high. So the IPCC is uh, doing its business to the best of its ability. And uh, these are things that we're not going to be distracted by, where we need to improve, we are willing to learn, we are willing to improve and we are trying to do that. But uh, if people want to release hacked and stolen emails, that's their business that doesn't affect us in any way. And just finally, because I know you've got to rush, is what's the gap between the science and the politics here when you come to these talks? How much work is there to be done? Well, I believe whatever politics or decision making or agreement that you have over here has to be driven by science. And let me express a disappointment. I'm afraid I don't see enough attention being placed on the scientific realities of climate change. If we were to do that, we'd probably have a much more productive atmosphere in the room here. Dr. Pachari, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Pleasure.